Hey guys, this is Sunshine Love and welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Please make sure you subscribe so you can get the latest videos. Now today's video is going to be over Antonio Swanson. He is accused of killing his own sister. I'm giving you what the news left out and what they did not tell you. Now, allegedly, Swanson owned a car and this altercation happened over a vehicle. Swanson states that it was his car and the sister and her boyfriend took the car and Swanson got angry about it and threatened to kill them both. And uh, like I said, the altercation allegedly transpired over the boyfriend first and he shot his sister multiple times and then fled on his bicycle. Hill is 32 years old. She leaves behind three small children, ages three, four, and five. I could not imagine what their family is going through. Now, Juanita Hill's mom states that Antonio Swanson has been mentally ill for a long time. I'm just wondering, how did he go through all, all of this and nobody knew that he had this mental condition? Because it's apparent at his court appearance that he has some mental problems. Now, either he's faking it or either he's seriously ill. Now, he shot her one time, and then as she fell to the ground, he shot her multiple more times. So you have to wonder what's going on in his head. And allegedly, he was supposed to or threatened to kill more people earlier that day. Now, Hill's mom, Renita Hill, states that this is his sister on his father's side. And again, he's been sick for a long time. She states that she just wants for her family to grieve in peace. And I just couldn't imagine what she's going through. Her exact words were, there are no words to describe a mother's loss. I can't believe that this happened. It's apparent that he has issues. Listen to him at the arraignment. Stand your ground, no retreat. Sir? Make my body chill you. I'm going to ask that you be quiet. I'm just making... Now, as you can see from that last clip, Swanson apparently has a mental condition or he's doing a great job at faking it. Now, Swanson is being charged with a first degree felony of aggravated murder. Now, he requested to for his bond to be set at $15 billion. However, the judge set it at $15 million and he was indicted by grand jury on November the 7th. Now, on this next clip, you will see how he continued to act. This is a terrible tragedy that this family endured as well as these two, three children that have to go without a mother. Make that shit about villains. About villains. statements in the court. That's uh, disrespectful. Uh, in regards to the bond and the threats to the prosecutor. I made promises. Uh, those promises were also made in previous cases. The defendant was uh, served three years for two cases, uh, intimidation, attempted intimidation and menacing by stalking. The menacing by stalking for which he finished sent, uh, serving his sentence last June in, uh, related to the defendant uh, stalking a 17 year old student murder. in Cleveland Heights. There is a report in that case where the defendant allegedly stated that in jail that he, will, he should have killed her. Uh, served his time and now he's here because of this new case where uh, not only he killed his 26 year old Who uh, sister, she, she uh, stole my car. The defendant, the defendant shot her once, she went to the ground, and the defendant went to where she was, shot her twice as she laid on the ground, and that was done in front of her father. Who gives a shit? She ain't never bought me nothing. She stole my car. I told her to give it back. Oh, they shot at me. Sir. Stay in your fucking Sir. ground. No retreat. Now, you notice that while in court, no one said anything while Swanson was talking. I mean, they continued to conduct themselves as if he wasn't saying anything, as if he really wasn't there. And that is because Swanson's behavior is not new to him to them. I mean, Swanson has over 30 charges from minor incidents to major felony arrests 
going back to 2005 when he was only 18 years old. His cases include assault, DWI, burglary, aggravated disorderly conduct, robbery, along with a host of other charges. And the case that they're talking about in court was a charge that he incurred in 2013. He was charged of aggravated menacing of stalking a 17-year-old girl. And while in custody, he received two other charges of telephone harassment and criminal endangering or endangering while in custody because he stated that I should have killed her. Now, this man apparently has a mental condition. And we asked, how did the criminal system allow this man to walk the streets and be released case after case after case and his mental condition not be treated? You see that no one makes mention of his mental condition. No one makes mention that he has a problem. They continue to talk about case after case after case. And now we have a mother who has lost her life and leaves behind three small children. Look at this next clip. 15 million. No, billions. Yes, for sure. Make me look good. Make me look good. Next case we're going to be calling is... Now, I continue to ask myself and... This is crazy that this woman lost her life and this entire situation transpired over a car. And it's sad that this woman lost her life and she leaves her three children behind. And what's even worse is that this man has all these charges and he was allowed to walk the, re walk the streets and be released. And out of all of his charges, that doesn't even include his juvenile record. We don't know what's that on that file. But it's apparent that he has a problem and it's apparent that his mental condition went untreated, unnoticed or whatever the case may be. But you notice that the court does not say anything about his mental condition. And it's sad. And what's sad is that the Treatment Advocacy Center say, stated that 16 out of 40 cases are have something to do with a mental condition. You notice that a lot of the crimes committed today is behind someone who has a mental condition, and it's sad. As Renita Hill, the mother, talks about this fatal and tragic event, I mean, she basically, in her own words, and I stated it earlier, she stated that there are no words to describe a mother's loss, and there, there isn't. There's no words that you can, can make it better. And this happened by the hands of her own brother. And it's sad that we have so many high cases that are steadily increasing day after day after day. And there's so many crimes being committed. And a lot of them are attached to some form of illness or depression. And it's not being treated and it's not being made aware. And these people are not getting the help that they need. There's also an increase in suicides. Now, please keep this family uplifted in prayer. Words cannot e express my condolences to them. And also, I'm going to end this video with saying, if you know anyone that is suffering from depression or have a mental illness, get the help them. Get them help. I mean, there's so many organizations Find a local organization in your area, or you can contact the mentalhealthline.org, and it's 24 hours, 7 days a week. You have a blessed one. Again, thank you for tuning in today. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos. Watch your loved ones. Watch your children. There's so much going on today. We have to be aware of our surrounding and what's going on. We also have to pay attention to our loved ones. Have a blessed one.